The scholarships are part of the Namibian Youth for Green Hydrogen Scholarship Program and attracted 1,128 applicants after the applications were opened in March last year. 466 were shortlisted and 164 recommended by the committee, comprising representatives from NTA, NCRST, UNAM, NAST and the VTCs, as well as relevant industry players. But just over 90 students made the cut, owing to funding being limited to technical and vocational education training, master's degree programs, as well as the upskilling of current graduates through relevant short courses. The Namibian Youth for Green Hydrogen Scholarship Program was born out of the partnership between Namibia and Germany. The program was designed to ensure an output of trained young Namibians ready to take up positions in the emerging green hydrogen industry as early as 2024. The recipients are from 12 out of the country's 14 regions and Thomas makes up the number of candidates at about 40%. Minister Dr. Ita Kanji Murangi cautioned the recipients that skills once gained be applied to the benefit of the entire country. All eyes are on you and we count on you to excel and become the workforce to drive this important national project. Remember, we are residents of this one big house called Namibia. It is therefore imperative that we are all properly prepared and sharpened to make a positive impact in this house. Achieve energy security and increase prosperity for its citizens as envisioned under the Harambe Prosperity Plan 2 and our country's long-term developmental framework, the Vision 2030. I trust therefore your Excellency, that the above synopsis has enlightened us all on Namibia's green hydrogen ambition and vision. The German government, through its Ministry of Education and Research, allocated close to $88 million for the courses to be studied in Germany and local institutions in collaboration with German counterparts. Namibia has a plan. Namibia wants, Namibia wants to export meaningful amounts of green hydrogen by 2030. The task now is to overcome technological hurdles on the path towards a hydrogen supply chain and to test out production or applications in Namibia for the first time. And to do this under real life conditions, the plants must prove that they can run in very hot weather, high levels of solar radiation and sandy winds. And this can only work with research. Being passionate about science and technology, I was always curious about sustainability. I've been following the climate change conference, the COP26, and also the discussions that were happening in Davos, Switzerland. Um, and I could see how involved our country, Namibia, was at a global scale. And most importantly, I see myself as being the active link between the grassroots level of education and the affiliation with um, the international uh, game players in this new field. Dates for the next application window would be announced in due course for those who were not successful during the first awarding process. Blanche Corres, NBC News.